There it is, Permanti Brothers Bar and Grill. Sorry, Permanti, said it wrong. For those of you who don't know, this is Market Square. Uh, they often have market stuff set up here. I'm not sure which days, if you're from uh, Pittsburgh, let us know if there's specific days of the week that people set up here. Is it just Saturdays? It only happens during the summer times, warmer weather. This is beautiful weather, they should have it set up now. Welcome, please wait. Guys, you've never seen Robert. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Last time we were here, it was packed. Now it's empty. So we're, we sat here, I believe, with the boys. Any recommendations? Um, I mean, are you looking and for local beer, beer? Alcohol, yeah. So Icy Light, Iron City. One's a light lager. Um, one's our light beer, East End Big Hop, if you like IPAs. I'm not an IPA guy. More lager? I guess than Yingling. Okay, you Okay. What'd you get? Neville Island. Did you get a double? No. <laughs> so these are all the originals. The Reuben. Wow. Tall boys. So let us know in the comments below what is your favorite thing at Permanti Brothers. I might do the original pastrami and cheese, but we'll have to wait and see. Cheers to Pittsburgh. Let me know what it tastes like. Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right. Style of sandwich in general is what we're known for, right? But capicola and pastrami, those are the two I always recommend. Okay. Yeah. Anything with spice is really good because the coleslaw is made with vinegar. So like the vinegar and the spiciness go really well together. Capicola, it's like a spiced ham. So I'm going to do the, the capicola and cheese. Okay. And then... I'll do the pastrami. <laughs> Look at that. It comes in a bag or in a wrapper. I guess a couple sheets of wax paper. Look at yours. Ooh, yeah. Yours is huge, that. man. Well, oh, that's right, the fries are on it. I was gonna say, where's the fries? I'm like, look, fries? it's funny, I actually turned mine around thinking the fries were on the other side. Cause I completely forgot they put fries on their sandwich. And as I turned around, I'm like, that's, they chipped me out. I didn't get any fries. <laughs> oh, here we go. So Carol gets to go first. She's never eaten here before. Okay. So she look at the size of that sandwich. Oh my mm. gosh. Wow. Pastrami, <laughs> coleslaw, tomato. All Unbelievable right. how thick that sandwich is. Yeah. Do it. Okay. And that was pastrami, you said, right? Mm-hmm. And then pastrami. Wow. Yeah. It looked like bacon. Pretty neat experience, eh? Yeah. That's why people, that's why they're so famous. For, it's because these sandwiches are crazy. Yeah. Oh, the bread smells so fresh and fresh. Oh, here we go. Cheese pull. Wow. wow. See the steam? <laughs> My goodness. Look at that. Cheers. Mm. There's so much food. I missed the top slice of bread. Look how fresh that is. Oh, it smells so good. Let us know in the comments below if you've eaten here. And what is your favorite sandwich? We're gonna eat all this and then go on that rail car thing. What's it called? I can't pronounce it. I but what is it again? They call the incline. Yeah. Anyway, we'll take you over and show you. <laughs> Killer. So lunch here came to $39, not bad. So lunch was amazing. Oh, yes. I totally recommend, and I think a lot of people have recommended us to go there. So what were you gonna say? It was very tasty. Now I'm gonna go check out where the waterfront is and then do the, the something, the incline. There's a thing called the something, it starts with a D. to get up and down. There's some very old photos of this area. Oh, there's the incline car right there. 
Yeah. That's before any of the buildings were there. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. Oh, very cool. That's a neat, eh? Because when there's nice days, like the holidays, there's an hour wait to get into the incline. Right. And you guys just have like a card. Yeah, we have a connect card. It's like right. a bus pass. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for your help. You're welcome. Well, Enjoy. You. We will. There's an observation deck, too. Oh, great. Thanks. All right, thank you. Have a good night. You too. You too. Observation deck. Lots of pictures, lots of history. Oh, there you go. That's when it flooded. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whole city's underwater. St. Patrick's Day. 1936. And then there was a big fire, supposedly 1845. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. So there it's not flooded. Flooded. Do yeah. and uh, what was the you had like a, a drink at the top? Yeah. What was that place called? The Steel Mill Seven. That's where the flood line is, which just looks like about nine feet. Yeah, Carol's like five foot four, and it's almost twice Carol, so nine feet at least. We're trying to find our van. It's so down, it's down here somewhere. Moose, where are you? Little plastic chairs. I thought I'd treat Carol to Bakersfield and uh, have a couple tacos. Awesome menu. Definitely start with a nice draft beer. Cocktails, wine, tequila. I'm gonna do the two of the Baja shrimps, please. And so you said you're doing the pollo? Yeah. And the, oh, the uh, al pastor. Carol's first Bakersfield taco. Dousing the taco with the lime. Roll it. Eat it. It's so good. Pretty good, eh? Gotta love their stuff. Baja shrimp. Lime one. Lime two. Oh, the lime 
wine smells so good. Is it good? It's good. This is the best taco here. Spicy? It's just crunchy shrimp. Oh. That's how Baker feels. I love Baker like, too. Our tacos so are great. I think I Carol gave me a, a bite of her. I can't remember what it was called. It was the one with um, pineapple in it. Oh, yeah. It was a little bit spicy, but it was good. Yeah. It was mixed with spicy and pineapple. I would get that again, 100%. Uh, but I love my uh, Baja shrimp. And you, Carol tried it? Yeah, it was okay. It was okay, which is, Carol doesn't eat shrimp, so. All right, let's get the van and uh, go find a parking spot. Let's see. No tickets. All right, let's go to Cracker Barrel.